I am really excited about the collection today. Um, this is the back to school line. I'm sure you've seen the buzz going around. I just got my box. It is a day after when we were supposed to post. So I'll probably be the last one sharing this information with you and that's okay. It's okay. Um, some really, really, really fun things. I'm going to start off with the books and then we have lots of writing tools and lots of other things to share. I personally have some favorites here that I cannot wait to use in my own planning. Um, but let's get, let's get started. So I think we'll start off with this. This may be my favorite thing in the line and I just wanted to start off with it, you know, just off the get go because I think this is so fun. So this is the kids reading log and I wish that they hadn't titled it as the kids reading log because there's nothing like necessarily kid about this. It could be for anyone who loves to read. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see a closer up. Um, it has this really cute, I love the rainbow uh, cover and on the kid products, oftentimes they'll use this plastic clear coil, which I actually love, but it's not metal. Um, these are interchangeable covers and so you can put on a different cover if you want, although this one matches the interior of this book, so I think I think it's a cute thing. Um, okay, so it's labeled as the kid reading log. You can see the little rainbows down here. I love this. My daughter has, my teenager, um, this, she's a senior in high school and she has already claimed this as her own. I want to get one for me because I, now that I'm done with nursing school, I love to read and I just haven't been able to really read anything beyond textbooks for a couple of years. So I cannot wait to get into this. So it starts off with um, like an about me. I guess this is the kid the kid area is this page right here. See, my age when I started this log, my age I live in, this is me. Um, my top favorite books, some of my favorite authors. And then um, you can set some reading goals here, which I think is really fun. And then it goes into the first tab, which is the reading log. So this is my favorite thing about this book is the reading logs and then the back some of the back lists I think are so fun. So in here you can do your date, book title, author, and then minutes read. If I were to use this, I would probably use this last instead of minutes read, which I don't care to track how many minutes I'm reading, but I would like to mark like my rating for the book. So like five stars or four stars or whatever. I would probably put that in this. And um, you get a few pages of that. It's in this really cute color scheme that matches this cover. And I think you get a log in every one of one of the colors. So there's a lot, a lot of reading logs. And I guess if you were doing minutes read, you'd get you could do like it every day and just do how many minutes you've read. I probably would use this just when I finished a book to kind of rate the book. Okay, the next section is book review. So in here, this is what the I was the least excited about that my daughter is the most excited about. So you can do thoughts, quotes, doodles. That is kind of fun. I, there's always like a quote or two from a book that I just want to remember and it would be fun to have a place to write them down. Then you can kind of go through a, a full book report like date started, date finished, title, author, genre. Um, I read this book for then you can mark school, reading challenge, fun. Um, would I recommend this book? Page count, reading level, and then what this book was about, my favorite part of this book. So I would probably do this in my own way. My daughter thinks this is so fun. She's an artist. If I were to redo this book, the only thing I would change would be to make this page not be shaded so that they could do a little bit more art over here from the book, like a, like a, you know, how that people do like their fan, fan art. I would be so fun for my daughter to be able to draw. So that would be my only thing I would change. She didn't seem to mind, or I don't know if she was really thinking about it, but I would love for her to be able to draw. So again, you get tons of these pages and they're in that same color scheme with the rainbows. Really, really cute. And you get lots and lots of, of the book report pages. This last section is another one that I'm really excited about. So you get to do your favorite books ever. So I would probably take books that I've already read in the past, you know, Harry Potter's or different things that I love and put them here, but also some books from my 
from my reading log that I've fallen in love with and I would add them back here. So when people are asking me for book recommendations, I can go straight to my favorite books ever. You have a couple pages of that. Let's see. Oh, you have a lot, a lot of pages of the favorite books. And then I am really excited about the books I want to read. I just asked on my Instagram for some book recommendations because I really do want to get back into reading. And I got so many good ones and I, I took a screenshots of them all, but I, I'm going to add the ones I'm interested in reading back here. And then it just has book title, author, and then read. So yeah, I'm not going to go into everything that came in this back to school line this in depth, but I'm, this is probably the thing I'm the most excited about. And I, um, yeah, I'm going to have to order another one because my daughter really, really wants this as well. So she's a huge reader. She loves art and, um, she reads a couple books every week, so I think she will probably even get better use out of this than I would. Another thing they sent is a notebook. They had a very similar one last year in their back to school line. It's really cute. So this is a tabbed notebook. It has it's three subjects, and this isn't new to their to their collection. I think this has some tweaks to it. So these are perforated pages, which is really awesome. I think all their notebooks are. And then it has this like paint swatchy cover that says progress, not perfection. And then the tabs match that. So progress is impossible without change. The next tab is um, what you do today can improve all your tomorrows. And the final one is if, if a plan doesn't work, change the plan, not the goal. So really cute. I think that this is darling. So the pages are just lined. You do at the, each tab, you do have a little dashboard page, uh, which looks very similar to the one that's in the life planner. I saw someone who is going to be using this as her planner. And I thought that was such a good idea. If you just like more list making, she is going to have this be a three month planner here and just kind of set up lists for each day. She'll have her goal setting here and then, yeah. I mean, that would be for someone who really likes to just do their own thing. But yeah, so this is just lined the full way through. I think the one that they sent last year had um, different kinds of notes pages. I would love, I don't know if this is available, if you can choose your notes pages or if they have to be lined. If I were to get it, I would want like the graph paper. That's my favorite of their note pages. In the back of this, you do get a neutral sticker page and that is it. It's just a really simple little notebook that has three subjects. Really cool for back to school. The last thing that they sent is the academic planner. The academic planner is actually one. I love the academic planner. I have often thought that maybe this would be the planner that I would use. It is a little cheaper than the life planner, which is nice because, you know, that's for students and students often have less funds. There are a couple things that you don't get in this that you get in the life planner, like a perpetual planner, um, you don't get the folder in the back. Um, so there, you know, are some cuts made to make this more affordable, which, you know, honestly, those are things that I don't always use anyway. So if this is something that, that you're interested in, definitely look into it. You can pick your cover. It doesn't have to be this one. This is one of their new, their new covers that just came out. Um, so like I said, this is the academic planner. My, my box came just totally thrashed. In fact, some of the things I have to show you that some of the like pens must have fallen out of the box. You could tell it was retaped up by FedEx. So my cover is bent here in the corner. But um, anyway, this is in the color blends theme. And so you get the same color blends tabs that you do in the life planner. It's really cute. And then let me just show you a couple differences between this and the life planner. So. In this, you do get a schedule tab, which you can put your class schedule in, and it's in the cute color blends theme. And then the dashboard in the academic planner is a little different as well. So it looks like this, really simple. You just have lined section and then goals and events. I actually prefer a more simplistic dashboard. I wish that the life planner would go to something a little bit more like this. And then you have projects and exams for the month. And then this is what the pages look like. So I love this because you have a little to-do list. 
I've, I said this last year when I, you can look at my review, nothing changed about the academic planner except the theme. But um, the to-do list is so small. You have about an inch of writing space from the checklist on. I wish that they would make this kind of like even so you can have well, you can you have a blank blank and then this tiny little to-do list if i was in school still my to-do list is my most important thing you know like you're keeping track of stuff so if i were to do this i would make the to-do list here and then maybe like little little and then to-do list and this i don't know you can and obviously you can change it it just has all those checklists so this is what the it looks like i would probably use over here for like any appointments I had during the day, I would probably still use this for my to-do list. And then over here you could do like um, any exams or assignments that are due that day. So anyway, a really, really great layout. I think you could use this for if you're not a student as well. We all have those sort of project and to-dos and appointments that we could put into here. One great thing about the academic planner is you do have one, two, three, four, five pages of notes at the end of every month. And so you can use that for all sorts of things, um, taking notes in class or um, any sort of projects that you're working on. It would be really great. So the back of the planner after the last notes pages, and by the way, this is an August, is it August to August? August to August planner. And um, at the back, there are no notes pages other than the ones that come with the each month. Obviously, you have tons of notes pages in this. And then you get this really cute sticker page, which is done in the color blends theme. They say no class, study guide, read, test, exam, midterm, quiz, paper due, study, and vacation. And then you have a blank at the end of every little color box. So really love their academic planner. I've always really loved it. I go really in depth into this in my academic planner review. I'll link it down below, but really, really enjoy this planner. They sent quite a few other items. I'm gonna take all of these out of their plastic so you don't have to hear me open, and then we will look into them. The first thing I'm gonna show you are these A5 ring agenda dividers. So these feel like a laminated cardstock. They're thinner. They're definitely not like a plastic divider like you sometimes see. And they're in this really cute color blends um, pattern. So these do feel like they could rip. Um, th they're cute and I really, really like them. Um, mine have, like I said, my box was really thrashed and so we're gonna see what things actually stand up to stuff. But yeah, mine have little dents and stuff in them so you can see that these will definitely, you know, wear as time goes on. But that, I mean, I have no idea what the price is on these. I probably wouldn't spend more than like, I would probably wanna spend under $10 on these. They're, they're not like the highest quality dividers in the world, but beautiful, they definitely are. And I actually think I'm gonna use these for, um, I'm still trying to decide what I wanna use for my goal setting. So it depends if I stay in power sheets or if I go back to Moxie Life. If I do Moxie Life, I think I'm gonna use it in a ring system and I might use this for my my quarters and I think that would be really cute. So you have this beautiful purple to mauve and then this, I guess it's more like purple, purple to blush and then you have a peach to mauve here, a blue to turquoise and then this purple to lavender. So really, really cute. They do come with some stickers that you can use on the dividers and these ones up here are labeled and then these here are blank so the labeled ones say today today important lists and notes and I think that this is really cute I would definitely buy these but probably would want to spend like eight nine dollars on this max because they they really really don't feel like the highest quality dividers in the world there are two big dashboards that they came out with and I thought we would just go over what these two are. Again, all this stuff seems to be in the color blends um, design and I really, really think these are pretty. This one has uh, like silver foil on it and this one has gold foil. I'm gonna hold it to the side a little bit because if I have it in the middle, you can see my camera above, but 
Um, this is the projects and exams tracker, and this is used for tracking class projects, exams, logging important notes, and then deadlines. You can stay on track to make sure that you are you knowing what things are coming up. I think this is such a cool thing and I th would have loved to have used this through nursing school to kind of show my big projects. It is double-sided, so you have four projects, you have three exam sections, and then long-term assignments, upcoming exams. So these can snap right into your notebooks or whatever you decide to use them with. So you can put it in these different sections and it sticks out it's not as far out as the tabs are but it is about you can see it hanging off probably about a quarter of an inch a little more than a quarter of an inch over so you can use this as a bookmark too if you had it closed and you wanted to keep it at like you had notes of the project that you're working on and it would flip right to it like a bookmark I think that's really great um, the other one that we have is this one, which is the school tracker. So this, again, is perfect for students. You can use it as a teacher, homeschooling parents. This would be so awesome to keep track of everything in one place. This is a double-sided dashboard too. So you have on this side, top priorities. You have your class assignment due date and then a check mark and then just kind of a notes section. The back, you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so you can keep track of the week, which I think is great. Long-term assignments, upcoming quizzes and tests, and then next week. So again, this can snap in as well. It hangs over the same amount as the other one. And I just think this would be a really cool thing for like my, my daughter, I've tried to get her into life planning and it's just a little overwhelming for her. So I think she would probably prefer this three subject notebook for her class. And then the school trackers. Am I the only one who struggles to get like new covers on. I see other people and they're just like snap, snap, snap up the, up the thing and I'm like, oh, I have to go off camera to like get it on. But anyway, they stay on really, really, really nice. Another thing that is coming out is this big bookmark. I think it's really cute. It's kind of one of those like oversized cute things. It's like a paper clip. It is really heavy. So this would be something that I probably would not want to use on my notebooks. I probably would be using this as a ruler only if you put it on a page like this um, it will bend your page you can feel it going up and also you know it's just like really really heavy so it's going to weigh down your pages uh yeah i definitely wouldn't use this as a bookmark i think that's uh, funny <laughs> but i do really like the look of it and i think it would be pretty in um kind of in my little acrylic stand to use for ripping washi or using as a ruler of some sort this this probably wouldn't be something that i would i would personally buy but i don't i don't hate it either okay we have a new sticker book let me zoom you in to get really close up this is a really beautiful sticker book so the name of this is the designer sticker book pastel functional planner stickers this is a gorgeous collection of over 630 colorful and mixed metal stickers there are 12 pages of stickers in here we'll flip through them really quick and they're mostly functional which is really cool um, they match the more neutral color scheme so if you have the a harmony neutral this would be like the perfect little companion it has to-do lists sticker icons flags and you'll see let's go through it so these normally run around $15 if I remember right they like I said they didn't give us the price of anything but here you have some event labels really cute like forks and spoons over here shopping exclamation marks and then dollar signs you can mark like payday these are just big boxes and then I love, I love these, so cute. On this page you have some half boxes, cleaning, laundry, mail, it looks like maybe a doctor's bag, yeah the doctor's bag there, and these are rose gold. This page had them in gold. Here's some silver paydays and some more very neutral big boxes. You have workout stickers um habit trackers so it says am workout and there are seven one yeah seven so i guess that's like a month's worth of working out you can have that would be cute to go on your dashboard page this week i'm focusing on you have some 
cute little checklist. And this is in gold. Next page is rose gold again. You have your medication, mail, hearts, and more half boxes, really cute. Okay, here's some really fun, these are like plasticky. I'm, I don't know if these are transparent or... Okay, I have a problem with Erin Condren stickers. As I was tearing this off, it just is tearing off the backing with the sticker, but I can't even get it off. Okay, hold on, let me try a different one. Oh yes, so these are transparent. Be really careful taking them off, because like I said, the other one, this one I couldn't get off without the white backing. But, uh, sneak peek on the next thing I'm going to show. But these are transparent. You can see the line through them. So these would be really great on marking dates in your, if you have Harmony Neutral especially, this would be really fun on that. Dates page, where you can mark like paydays on um, your year calendar or times that your kids have off of school. Really, really cute. And notice as I'm turning the page, these are just coming off. So you can take these all off, which I know some people do anyway. I prefer to keep them in the book, so I wish that it wasn't coming off, but they do sometimes. Okay, the next page, you have some checklists. These are in silver. You have some really cute chore, weekly chores, today's focus, weekly spending, this week's dinners. I love these weekend stickers and vacation. You can kind of mark that off in the, that would be really great on your uh, monthly spread to kind of mark a few days when you're gonna be gone. I like the domes. Here's some rose gold appointments and calls. <laughs> this totally just came off. See, it's, I, that, I don't know. It, it's good and bad. I know a lot of people do prefer to just take these off, so whatever. Okay, here you have quarter boxes, half boxes, and then today to do goals. Really cute washi. I love these, these appointment labels. And that is it. So I really love this. <laughs> you can see mine, mine totally is, they're all gonna fall out, but that's okay. I already showed you a little peek of these. Let me zoom you in even more. But these are two sticky note pads that that are coming out. This one is actually Post-it brand. This one is not. So um, I have had problems with Erin Condren and Post-its in the past not being too sticky. Post-it is amazing. You know, we all know we, and love Post-it. So I'd be interested to know how the sticky on these compares to each other. The Erin Condren one actually feels a little bit more sticky, and that is good and bad. Sometimes the ones that are more sticky actually leave residue and then they don't re-stick, but this seems to be doing great. I actually really like what this. Okay, so let's go through what these, what these are. The one that is actually by Post-It is this week's project and exam. So this is, act, this is for school, and it has, um, I'm guessing you can put like the date there that it's due, the project name, and then you can mark if it's a project or exam. You have prep, to-do list that you need to do, and then a little note section. This one is this week's self-care, and you just have like some, it says this week's joy, you have a little note section, habits that you wanna track, and then the little weekly, the weekly habits. They're a really great size, so this is the seven by nine planner and they, you can put this on, I mean, they take up quite a bit of the page, but you can move them around. They're cute, I love both of them. I'm not a huge post-it person, but I could definitely see myself using, especially this week's self-care, and I could see my, my daughter really, really liking these for school. She likes to keep track of her assignments in like a more simplistic way than I ever was. I was always like a major planner, to-do list person. She likes just to have like a really simple monthly planner and um, a list, like notes pages. The next items I received are actually mostly writing tools, which I did that whole big Erin Condren writing tools video. I'm going to have to update it because we have a lot of new things that are um, coming to the line. So I'm going to go through all of these in a little bit. Let's start off with the two items that aren't writing tools. 
And the first step is this really cute blush calculator. I would have loved this in nursing school. We, we had to do a lot of like med calculations and we only could use like a really simple calculator like this to, to figure out the meds. So I really think it's cute. This is a um, blush calculator. In the little uh, pamphlet that they sent out with the Life Planner launches, the little like newspaper thing, it looked like this was going to be more coral, but this is definitely blush colored. It's really, really cute. This is a little bit larger than the little hand calculators that I have for nursing school, which I think is really nice. It's really easy to see. And it is battery operated. So if you need to recharge, you do it that way. Really, really cute. I'm actually super excited about this. I've had several of these accordion pouches over the years, and this one is in a new color scheme. It has kind of neutral-ish. Kind of the theme of this whole this whole box is kind of this neutral theme. I am not a huge fan of this zipper color. It's very like kind of that greeny gold again, but really cute co colors. I don't think this is my favorite of all of the options that they have in the accordion patches. I love like the blue ombre or the purple ombre ones. I think those are my favorite, but they have a colorful one that has um, like a rainbow a bright rainbow and then this one now which is obviously like this more pastel. I like I said I've had several of these sent to me over the years. I usually give them away. My problem with them is once they're full, they're really really awkward to um to use and they have some that are like a little bit larger in each bag is a little bit larger and it's only three and it's, I think it came out with their packing line. I love that one because it's, I don't know, it's a little bit more manageable. When this one gets full and you have like pens and everything, it's just kind of awkward. I don't know. I, I've never loved these tons, but I definitely think they're cute and they're really cool. Um, we showed a different, if you, they sent me the trolls line and I did a video with my my six-year-old daughter and she was so adorable in it, if you wanna, wanna go see. Um, but in that she, they sent us one of these and I wanna say it was the colorful one. I can't remember what we did with it. But like I said, I don't, I don't use this and so as much as I think this is beautiful and maybe I'm gonna try to use it because I do think it's really cool. Um, once I do use it, I find it a little less functional than it seems to be. And I think it's because these are super flimsy. They're like uh, plastic, really cheap plasticky. You know those like drawstring backpacks that you sometimes get for free at, I don't know, like you go to a convention and they're handing out these free cheap backpacks with like paperwork in it. That's the same, <laughs> that's so random, but. Um, that's the same feel of this. And so it's not like super sturdy. If this was canvas and so it had some structure to it or something that had a little bit more, um, structure so it would hold up, I think I would like it more. But again, that would be heavy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not like a designer in that way, but, um, anyway, the color scheme is beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Before we get into the writing tools, which there are many, let me show you one thing that I, the last thing that is not a writing tool that I got. I'm really, really excited about this. So this is the Repositional Weekly Whiteboard and Notepad. This is 18 inches by 12 inches. So it's a pretty hefty, big, big item. This notepad is the same size as their, their smaller notepads that you can buy in the two pack. And so if you want to replace this, they do have other things that you can replace them with. They actually have quite a few options. I'm, I'm assuming that they're gonna be selling this to-do list one, and then, you know, you can buy so many things. I know they have some available in Dock Grid. They have some that are completely blank. They have some lined. You can get all sorts of different styles and designs. I love the colors here. Probably my favorite cover that came out with the launch was this stripe, and so it's fun to see that on here and then the colors that kind of go along with that stripe design. So on the back of here, there is a removable film and then you have like kind of like a sticky foamy feel. This is just protecting it. 
And then they recommend that you actually keep this film in case you want to store it or use it in a different way. After you remove the film in the back, you can actually stick this to all sorts of surfaces. It says that you can stick it to any clean, flat surface on a smooth wall. Um, you can do it on, like I've seen people put it on their refrigerators. And this whiteboard works perfectly with wet and dry erase markers. You can remove it afterwards with water or rubbing alcohol. Anyway, I just think this is such a cute, cute idea and I love it. If I were to use this, it would probably be a command center for my family. So we have the Erin Condren wall calendar in our kitchen and it's a great way for us to know kind of an over, over, um, a pi big picture of the month, you know, but when we actually, I don't put every appointment on there, like every orthodontist, dentist, you know, like all those appointments wouldn't fit. We have a family of seven, we have five kids. And so um, every single kid's appointments is not gonna fit on there. However, I would love to use it, use this on our fridge and kind of have like what we're eating that day for dinner, um, any appointments that they have. They did come out with these. This is the fine tip wet erase markers. And these are white, which is really cool. So um, they write really nicely on here. So with these, you're supposed to shake them up so to get them prepped. And then to get them started, you'll take them on a surface and just kind of push them down until the ink flows. And then um, obviously you probably wouldn't want to do it on here. Do it on something that you're not. And you can put like call grandma. These write really cute. It's so cute. I don't know if you guys are seeing it. I can see it really well. Um, let me zoom you in. I think I probably still would use black on here just to make things stand out more, but I do think this is really cute. Love the white. I love it so much, but it doesn't stand. I mean, it, it's not like in your face. I wonder if they'll come out with more of these. They're really cute. Let's try it on some of these other colors. On the pink. Mauve. Coral. What would you call this? Like khaki? So you can see, actually the mauve is standing out the most, and then I guess we could try this green one. It's the only one we haven't tried. Oh, I really like it a lot. They're definitely more, um, you can see them much better in person than in they're showing up on there. But it's definitely, it doesn't stand out tons. You'd have, if, if I use this as a command center on my fridge, the kids would probably have to come right to the fridge to read this white you know, stand right in front of it. So I, if I were to use this, I would definitely get a darker pen. All right, I'm gonna put this to the side and we can get to all of these writing tools. So I already showed you these. These are the fine tip wet erase markers. They say they write on dark wet erase surfaces and then you can just wipe them off. So I actually really, really like them. If I had like a darker board, a blackboard or something to that effect, I would use these for sure. Okay, I think the one that everyone is most excited about are actually the one that the box got a little bit destroyed in my shipping and they were out of the box and I'm missing one so it didn't make it. My outside box was completely destroyed and and there was like gaps in it where things could have slipped out. So uh, I'm missing the navy one but we will try all of these other ones out. So these are called the Color Changing Brush Pens. It is a six pack, I have five. <laughs> and these, I remember using these as a kid. I had some very similar to this that were so fun, I loved them. I don't see me using these a ton in planning, but my kids are gonna love them. I think these will be so cute for them. They would also make really good headers. I, If I was in school, I would have used these. I always started off my like um, different units in college with a fun little header that I would make and then I'd take notes under it. So I'd probably use them for headers or to like make things stand out. All right, let's try out the five that I have. Like I said, I'm missing the navy 
here, this darker navy, but we, we can try the rest. This first one I'm gonna try is red to lemon. So, okay, first thing up I wanna say, I wrote on this before the red was dry and it actually ripped up the paper. Like it tore it, it tore it up. So if I were to do this again, let me try it one more time. And I wanted to draw a line. I drew two, I just wanted it to be thicker. Um, let it dry. So let's do all of the lines first. So we'll do red. This one is the teal. This one is tangerine. This one is gold. Definitely more of like a lemon yellow than gold. And then this one is iris. Okay, so hopefully that gave it enough time to dry just a touch. On top of the red, it turns lemon. Oh yeah, it's working much better after you let it dry for a second. It's really fun. These are way fun. Okay, teal turns to Kelly green. The green is very like neon-y. The tangerine turns to gold. Cute, way cute. Like I said, I think these are so fun. I don't see myself using them a ton. You can see that the brush pens on this side and then it has like a white pen on that side. This gold turns to red. Oh my gosh, that's fun. When it changes like that dramatically, it's really cool. And then the iris changes to fuchsia. Way, way cute. Again, I, um, there's nothing wrong with these. I don't, I'm not saying anything negative. They're really fun. I just don't think that I would get a lot of use out of them other than just to like play around. So really cute. My, um, my style of, you know, planning, I, I kind of stick with black pens and stickers. And so I don't do a lot of like colorful writing. Um, but this is for the back to school collection. And I do think I would use these in note taking in school just to make things stand out. I wish I would have had the, the navy. It turns to cerulean, which I think would have been really pretty. But though my least favorite probably is this teal to Kelly green because the, the Kelly green is hard to read. It's almost like a highlighter. And uh, my favorite probably is the red to lemon. I think that one's really cool. And then the yellow to red kind of, I think those are really cute. Um, and this one's fun too, but again, it looks kind of like highlightery. I don't see myself using that as much. And just FYI, there's no bleeding at all. Even where it kind of tore up the page on this first one, you can see that it's not very clear. And that's because it kind of like, it was kind of taking up the page with it as it was, you could, like it, like fibers of the paper came up as I was writing. So definitely let it dry for the, for the best outcome. I believe that these came in the seasonal surprise box. I didn't get the seasonal surprise box. Are you proud? I actually like held out and didn't get it. Um, I'm trying to be better. Seasonal surprise boxes are, um, like I, I love, I love getting boxes. I, I used to get subscribed to a couple like makeup boxes, but I found even though I never, I wouldn't, don't stop. I never stop. Um, I don't use a lot of the stuff in those boxes. They send stuff that are fun and that are, you know, but I don't end up using it. And um, so I really just need to think about my purchases and you can't think about a surprise box. Like you can't, like you can't, if they don't show you what's in it, you can't think about whether or not you would use it or not. Okay, so this is the rainbow gel pen. If you can see in this, the ink right here is like a, a yellow orange to a fuchsia pinky color. And then this one is pink to blue purplies. So I'm guessing as, and they have a, those gross wax tips that don't come off. Um, I'm guessing as you write that it's supposed to kind of have a, you know, duochrome effect. We'll see. 
And they do have a really nice clippy tip and a comfortable hand holdy. I imagine that this one is going to be not as easy to read. Actually, it's coming out really cute and I can totally see the two colors. That's so cute. Okay, I really, really like this. I Again, I don't know how much I would use it, but this is a really pretty color and it comes off and kind of, um, I don't know, you can see the pink and the yellow orangey in it. It's not hard to read. You're not getting yellow. You're getting more of like the orange to fuchsia. That's way cool. These are really cute. Okay, this one is the fuchsia. Let me zoom you in even more. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the color shift in it. And I actually don't know that I can see a shift of color. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you have to look close to see. I think that the this one's cooler. I actually, I love the color of this one. Whenever I am testing pens by myself, I'm always writing like Lion King lyrics. I can't see a shift in this, I don't think. Let me show you a little closer. I'm sure that you can, can you see the pink to orange up there? It's so cute. I think these are really, really cute. I like them. Um, I'm not sure what the price is on these, but I'm not sure how much I would necessarily spend on them because I don't use a lot of colored pens. But if you do, I think these are really, really pretty colors. I actually love this one, the yellowy one. I, I really, really love it. All right, next up we're gonna do the magnetic ballpoint pen. I wonder, <laughs> you can tell this box got a little hash too, so. But the way that these are packaged, you don't, you can't lose them like the, the cardboard of the other one, they just kind of like plopped out. So I'm not sure what's magnetic about this. Oh, the lid. The lid is magnetic. That's cool. Okay, so these have the little, these have the better tip on it that just come right off. All right, so I'm assuming these are both black. We will test it out down here. These actually write really nice. I'm not a like huge ballpoint pen fan, but these feel kind of gelish. They're really nice. I would actually use these. I like them a lot. So you have this one that's like green to blues and this one that is purple to the pink. I like these a lot. Like I, I think I would buy these. Um, Erin Condren has really surprised me with their highlighters. I think that they make awesome highlighters. They're actually some of my favorite, my favorite writing tools that they have. If you want to see my reviews of their other highlighters, you can go to my Erin um, Condren writing tool review. Uh, these are the pastel square highlighters. I think that they're really cute. I actually prefer um, a regular highlighter pen just for storage purposes, but I do think these are really cute. So I'm not sure if these are the only four that they are going to be releasing. And I, like I said, they didn't give us a price list of any item, so you'll have to wait to see. But you get four. You get a sage, a mauve, an orange sherbet, and a lavender. So let's swatch them. They actually feel really, really great in your hand. They feel like you could very much control what you, where you're putting them. The, this is like a minty green the sage. Mauve, I'm interested to see if it's going to be blush like this or actually like a true mauve color. Okay, this is a really nice pink. I think pink highlighters are really hard to come by because they often come off neon. And this is definitely a baby pink, but it's a really, really cute color. I would use that all the time. Orange sherbet. Orange is another one that I struggle to find good ones of because they often come off as neon. This one does not come across as neon. It's very, very cute. Okay, these are darling. I like these a lot. Erin Condren really just knocks out of the park with highlighters. And then this lavender color is very much a lavender color. So really cute, really, really cute. All right, the last thing we're gonna do are these colorful fine liner pens. This box reminds me of, um, I had some other pens that I loved that were like this where the box kind of became a little stand. They are labeled down here with the different colors that they have, which is nice because they have 
not done that in the past with their pens and not that it matters what the color of the pen is it doesn't make it right different but it is nice when you're buying like a second set or they have different like the fine tip pens how they have so many sets and some of the colors are overlapping and it's just hard to keep track of what you already have it's nice that these ones are labeled what i wish is that they would actually label the pen itself and because i don't usually keep my pens in the packages they come in. I find it easier just to like put them in a jar or something. Okay, so let's let's test out these different pens on the paper. I'm gonna zoom you in just a little and we will test them out over here. So this first color is Marigold. It's a very light yellow, kind of hard to see but cute, I really like it. I wonder how these coordinate with the colors of the months. Like I wonder if that is a really good August dupe. Um, Garnet is the next one. These have like kind of a felt tip feel. Garnet is um, very much a like dark pink color. Purple, this is your cooler toned purple here. Next up is amethyst, which is your warmer toned purple, your more pink purple. These write really nice. I actually really enjoy. I would like a whole black set of these. There's black. I think every single pen set that they put out with, you should have a black option to buy a set of black ones. There's dusk, which is, I would say that that's more of a dawn color. <laughs> this is a very like turquoisey blue. I always think of dusk as like more of like a navy, deeper blue. Um, then this one is navy, which I think is more royal. I never think of their navies as very navy. Um, this one's cerulean, which is kind of the more like, where dusk has a little bit of yellow in it, cerulean has a little bit more magenta in it. You guys, I color correct. For, I did that for so long. I was, um, when I was the editor of a magazine and I would have to edit the um, photography so that the product matched the photography perfect. Um, so I, I see everything as CMYK. And um, like, what, what do I need to add yellow to to make this color? What do I need to add cyan or, or magenta or black to? Anyway. Um, this one is aloe, really, really nice limey green. And the last one is aquamarine. So this pen set, definitely heavy on the cool tones. You only get a couple of warm tones, which I guess it kind of lines up to the Erin Condren color scheme. I think the color you'd be missing here would be um, the May peachy color. Um, Everything else has a pretty close match, but I mean, it's not an exact match on any of those. One day I think that they should come out with a pen set like this that's actually marked like January, February, March, April, May and have the color that goes with the, the month. So you could kind of pull those out for those people who kind of like to color code their month like that. Um, anyway, I think these are really fun. I. I would recommend these. I think that they are really nice. Thank you all so much for watching this amazing lineup of new products. I am so excited about especially this reading book right here. I think that that is something so great. I'm loving this. The writing tools, there are several of these that I will probably purchase backups of. I cannot wait to try out this new sticker book and add it to the lineup. And of course this big family um, calendar here. I definitely will be adding that into our planning lineup as a family as well. Let me know what items you're most excited about, what you think you might be picking up. For me, I will probably pick up another one. Well, for sure I'm picking up another one of these reading journals. I may pick, if they have any other colors of these, I'll be getting those as well because I really, really love their highlighters. I could see myself put, picking up a backup of these ballpoint pens, which is shocking. I love them a lot. I'll link some of those videos below, especially my writing tools video if you wanna compare the new things to the old things that are already in the line. And I'll link my academic planner review below as well. So have an amazing week. I know um, that this is coming out a little bit late. I did just receive it and so it's, 
it's just, it was beyond my control. So have a great week. Um, for those of you who are not already signed up for my newsletter, I will link it below. I do not send out spam. I rarely send out newsletters except during releases. And you guys, I have a new release coming this next week. Now that the NCLEX is over, I finally can start doing releases again and I cannot wait. So have a great weekend. Talk to you later. See you. Bye.